Taylor here with AccuSpray Drones. Today we are out in the wheat field doing a terrain following demo with the EA Vision J100. It's right now it's operating just behind me. It's going up the hill right now. We are at 32.8 feet per second. This is full speed with the J100 with full terrain following turned on and full obstacle avoidance turned on. And we're operating at about four meters or about uh, 13 and a half feet high. This is really what we're operating, a real world scenario, this high and this fast in a field just like this. You can see the drone is going to disappear behind that hill. It's going to go down the hill and then right back up the other side. We've never seen any other drone perform as good as the J100 on terrain following. The T50 was a big improvement over the T40, but you still have to operate it at least 15 feet high and you got to slow it down. And you still lose about five foot in altitude going up or down. With the J100, it keeps the altitude phenomenally. We lose less than a foot going up or down the hill. This is with a full tank. The J100 uses LiDAR for its terrain following and obstacle avoidance. It has two LiDAR sensors, one on the very front of the drone, facing forward at an angle about like that, and one on the bottom of the drone looking downward, a little bit back and a little bit forward as well. Those LiDARs give the drone a really high degree perception angle, so it can see 300 foot in front of it and everything below it. And it actually builds out a terrain following map on the fly. So it's not just sensing obstacles, it's actually planning the flight path in real time with a three-dimensional reconstruction of all of its surroundings, including obstacles and terrain. It will do simultaneous obstacle avoidance with terrain following. So if there's a tree in the way or a power line or a power pole in the way, it will avoid that obstacle and follow the terrain at the same time. J100 is truly an autonomous platform. Other platforms we tested, other platforms we run, they're not truly autonomous. They have autonomous modes, but when you're operating in situations like this with a high degree of slope or lots of obstacles, you have to do manual interference. The J100 is truly autonomous. All right, now we have the Agris T50 flying the same exact field at the same height, four meters or 13.1 feet, and at the same speed, 32.8. As you can see, it takes a lot longer for it to adjust to that terrain. It actually stutters as it goes down the hill. And once it gets down the hill, it takes longer for it to adjust back up the hill. And there it's doing a lot of up and down. Uh, we'll see how it handles coming up. This is a steeper slope coming up uh, this side. We see a lot of stutter going on. We are really close to the ground right now, looking like about uh, four feet off the ground. We're supposed to be 13 feet, and it's still not reacting. There it goes. It finally reacts, and it goes to 13.1. You see our turns aren't near as smooth on the T50 either uh, compared to the J100. And that's really critical for small fields like this where you have lots of turns. Getting that drone turned back around, back up to speed is really critical. And there again, that wasn't that bad. There it's dropping down, stuttering. Getting really low to the ground there. Okay, finally picking back up. It has not braked just yet, but our height is all over the place. 22 foot, so Operator says 22 foot difference in height as far as from the top to the bottom because it's getting so low. It, oh, I thought we were going to hit the ground there. Oh, that got close. <laughs> well, technically we have true autonomy on the T50 on terrain. It's just not great autonomy. We haven't touched the sticks yet. This is making me more and more nervous by the second. This is not even the most hilly field that we run around here. 
the T50 does have the best terrain following that uh, the DJI has had on their latest models. Uh, however, when you compare this to the J100, it is night and day difference. All right, now we are in some more extreme terrain here that flattens out into an open field with a terrace at the bottom. This is the J100 going 32.8 feet per second, 13.1 feet high or about four meters high. There you see it hopping up and over that terrace back out on the flat. It's gonna turn back around and go back up the hill at the same speed, same height. It's using LiDAR right now to recognize obstacles and terrain in front of it. There you see it hopping up and over that terrace as it gets there. Reading the terrain as it goes up. This is very steep terrain here. It's slowing down just a little bit to recognize the terrain in front of it and still climbing the hill. This is all fully autonomous and there's picking the speed back up as it gets to the top. Here it goes back down full speed, reading terrain, and it's keeping its height really accurate as it comes down the hill. We don't have that wild swing of 10 feet, 20 feet difference like we do with other drones. Jumping up and over that terrace again and back down in the flat. The LiDAR terrain following on this drone Seems to be a heck of a lot better than the radar that other drones use. And the turning on that, I can't go over the turning, how fast that is. Reading the terrain, adjusting its height, keeping that height really accurate the whole time. It's not stuttering or doing those hard stops like we saw with the T-50. If it sees a big terrain change, it just slows down, keeps the height very accurate, and then picks the speed back up as it gets to the top. All right, now we have the Agris T50 doing the exact same flight path, the exact same height, 13.1 feet, the same speed, 32.8 feet per second. And we have it operating on hill mode here, trying to keep it as accurate as possible. The T50 has to slow down if it gets too high. Whereas the J100 keeps a nice smooth transition. And there you see over that terrace, it got really, it didn't keep an accurate height over the terrace. It just kept a flat height as it crossed it. We'll see how it reacts going up. Coming towards the terrace now. See if it jumps it. It does go up, but it does get a little bit closer to the top. We don't keep that height as consistent on that terrace. There we see it slowing down as it goes up the hill. On hill mode, the T50 does react going uphill pretty smoothly. Here it comes back down. You see it gets really high right there and it has to slow down to keep that height accurate. Same thing there at the bottom of that channel and at the top of this terrace. There, see it's slowing down as it goes up. Same thing there, slowing down, going up. Pretty consistent with the J100 on hill mode going up the hill. Going down, it does have to stutter step. All right, we're not gonna run the J100 on hill mode. So the whole time we've been doing all of this, we didn't, we didn't tell you guys, J100 has been in flatland mode the entire time. Now it is in hill mode. As you can see coming down, it looks very, very similar, still smooth, still keeping the height very accurate, using the LiDAR as it's supposed to do. We'll see how it reacts to this terrace. On the J100, you actually define the terrain type with the field itself. So if you're mapping a hilly field, then you define that field as a hilly field, and that is the mode that gets put to the field not necessarily the drone. Up and over the terrace, just like that. Back down the other side. 
Here it's climbing the hill. You see in hill mode, it doesn't respond at all. There's no stuttering, there's no slowing down. It's just going right up and over it. All right, guys, that is the terrain following comparison between the Agris T50 and the EA Vision J100. As you can see, LiDAR makes a big difference. The J100 with LiDAR on it follows terrain perfectly, keeping that height extremely accurate. Just look at this. Not stuttering or slowing down at all up that hill whenever you're operating in hill mode. If you guys wanna see more videos on the J100, if you have any questions, reach out, let us know. Thanks. I thought it'd be good to give you guys my conclusion after seeing these drones operate a lot more than just in this video on terrain. Um, the T-50 can have good terrain following if you have it in the correct mode, meaning hill mode. Uh, so if you're operating on any hill, slight or not, you probably ought to have the T-50 in hill mode. It puts the onus kind of on the operator in that case. Uh, if you're having a flatland mode operating on hills, it could lead to a disaster potentially. Whereas the J100, it doesn't matter. You can operate it on flatland mode and it'll be just fine in any situation. Uh, it will just slow itself down. And then as far as accuracy, even in hill mode, the T50 was less accurate going down or up a hill um, than the J100 was either in flatland mode or hill mode. It didn't matter on the J100, you just kind of set it in flatland mode and kind of forget about it and then run it and it will react accordingly to what it faces.